What's up YouTube, Bloodspawn here. This is a how to prepare for a convention, or at least how I do. Um, conventions are a lot of fun, it, but the more prep time you put into it, the more fun you're going to have. Believe me, if you, if you just go and you try to wing it, you're going to have less fun because you're going to run into problems. Alright, so what I do is basically once you have the convention established that you're going to be going to, you start working immediately on the guest list. You go to the, you know, who's going to be there. Uh, and even if it's, you know, like uh, the one I'm looking at uh, is Texas Frightmare in Dallas. Uh, this thing isn't until May, I believe, May of 2013. But even right now, there is eight people announced already. So what I do basically, I go to the website. I'm not going to bother with the camera, guys. So if you want to check it out, it's TexasFrightmareWeekend.com. Uh, I go to the guest list and I start looking through the people. So I see uh, a picture of a Veronica Cartwright, uh, and it shows a couple movies underneath them that she was in: uh, Invasions of the Body Snatchers, Alien, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. But I don't just go off that, guys. If you if you just like, uh, you know, like hers for me is Alien. I have an Alien poster signed by Michael Bean. I want to get more signatures on it. So I know right off the bat that, that that's what I'm going to get her to sign. This is why you don't want to just go, okay, boom, Veronica Cartwright, I'm going to get her on Aliens. Done. Move to the next person. Next thing you know, you're going to find out that, oh, crap, she was in that other movie that I forgot, and I have a poster for that, too, but yet I'm at the convention, and now you're screwed. And then now you're going to get her on this one, and you want her on this other one, too, and you got to hopefully run into her again at another convention later down the line. Some people, like, only do a couple conventions and then never do them again. So uh, what I do, I go to IMDb, type in Veronica Cartwright, and go through all the movies and make sure there's nothing else. That I, that I not only have something right now for her to sign off, but that I wouldn't want to start in the future. Because then, same thing. You know, yeah, that's, I just went on Aliens. And then next thing you know, later in that line, I'm like, darn, I, you know, th there's like an invasion of the Body Snatchers reunion or something, and I'm going to get all these people, but she's not there or something like that. So you really have to think future, you know, down the line, is there any other movies in here that I might want to start one day? If not... Then boom. This is what I do. I take a index card and I cut it in half, creating these little halves like this, blank on both sides. And then I take my Sharpie and across the top, let me just grab one. Let's do Serena Vincent. Across the top, I write Serena Vincent, draw a line, and then the cabin fever is the movie that I want to get. Uh, her to sign. Uh, so Veronica Cartwright, it would say alien. All right. Now, once you do that, uh, you know, so we're going to stay with uh, Serena Vincent since I can just have this up here. So I've decided I went through IMDb, Serena Vincent, Cabin Fever is the only movie she's been in that I'd want now and ever. So the next thing I do, okay, Cabin Fever, what do, what do I want her to sign of Cabin Fever? Do I own the movie? Yes, I have Cabin Fever, but it's a DVD. You can only get a few signatures on a DVD unless you scram, you cram them in there. Um, do I want to get like an 11 by 17 like my Freddy vs. Jason, which as you can see, I have two people on it, and look how much space has been taken up because I didn't think well enough. So maybe three more signatures on this, and then that would be pretty much filled. So you have to think. And the way to do that, the way I do it anyway, is off of IMDb. I look at the other fellow cast members in the movie and base it on, like, uh, you know, Alien, Sigourney Weaver. I'd love to meet her, but uh, probably unlikely. A few of the other guys. So an Alien movie, I could probably meet five or six people of. And then you add quotes and uh, their signature and then have them put, like, character name if you like that. That's going to take up a little bit of room. Times that by five or six, 11 by 17 is not going to work. Uh, so you want, you know, 11 by 17 are perfect for if you're just going to have them sign like their name, character name, that's it. No quotes, no personal inscriptions like to David, just their name, queer character name, and you can fit a shitload of them on that 11 by 11 by 17. So for Ronica Cartwright, I already have an Aliens poster, so we're good for her.
Uh, for Serena Vincent, I don't have a Cabin Fever uh, poster, so I have to make the decision, 11 by 17 or full size, and then order the poster. Be advised that most conventions, I will say most, but most don't carry full-size movie posters in the vendor's room. So if you're looking for full-size, you want to get on there as soon as you know, all right, Serena Vincent, I'm getting cabin fever. I need to get me a poster, eBay, however you do to get your posters in, do it ahead of time and take it with you. If you, uh, if you got some and you need some 11 by 17s, you can pick these up at the convention. They're usually uh, they're ten dollars a piece or three for twenty five, and they come in a big uh, like top loader for eleven by seventeens for free. Um, so eleven by seventeens, you can get them ahead of time. You can get them cheaper than that, but don't worry about it. You can get them at the conventions. All right. So as I'm going through and you and you go through all the people and you come up with all these, you know, uh, basically index card name what I'm getting them on. Now you got to think of what do you want them to sign. And you want to stay with that throughout. I'm a very anal person when it comes to my collection. So I don't want uh, Serena Vincent to sign a quote, you know, to David, blah, 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 from the movie, Serena Vincent, uh, Laura from Cabin Fever. And then the next person I meet from Cabin Fever uh, just signs their name. Like that would, that. I would, that would bug me because I like everything to be uniform. So uh, next thing to do would be, I need a quote. Now, say I, I've already put down bottom name and character, so I want her to sign her name and then put the character that she played in Cabin Fever. Now, the space in the middle is for a quote. Now, how I do that would I either go in Serena Vincent and look up quotes. I'd watch the movie again, write down all the lines she says, and pick my favorite one. But for the most part, you can usually go on Google and type in Cabin Fever quotes or something like that. Uh, like I, I have one pulled up, uh, Virginia Madsen, which is at uh, the Texas Frightmare. So this is what the finished card looks like. Virginia Madsen. I want her on my Candyman poster that I already own, so I don't have to order it. It's signed by Tony Todd already. And she's going to write David. Candyman isn't real. He's just a story. And then her name and her character name, Helen from Candyman. And then that's done. That's 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 a finished card right there. It's ready to go in the stack. And I literally take these with me. And I'm as I'm standing in line, I pull my poster out of my poster tube. My Candyman poster is already out and ready to be signed. I pull this one out of the pile. And as I walk up, introduce myself, talk to her for a little bit. When it comes to signing, I got my poster out. Here's what you're signing. Very easy. And it saves a lot of time. So you're not sitting there pulling the poster out. What I do is I, I try to lessen all the time that it takes to do anything else I want as much of that time that that moment of meeting the celebrity in the fucking moment you know talking to them conversating interacting not you know pulling my poster out and all right what do I wanted to sign hmm, quotes from the movie I'm trying to think nope got them already posters out here's the quote good to go now let's talk some more so that's what I do that's the, the all the getting the guests down uh, what you want them to sign, remember size, and how many people do you think you're going to get off this. A TV show like The Walking Dead, you're going to want the biggest freaking poster you can because these people are at every damn convention. You can end up with 20, 30 signatures on it. If you go with an 11 by 17, you ain't get nothing but name of that many people if you can get that many people. So you want to think ahead. How many people could I possibly meet from this show? How many people are in this movie? There's only 10 people in the movie. You know, if I sign names, then yeah, you could probably fit it on 11 by 17. All right, so after that, you want to, you know, figure out your weekend, uh, book your hotel in advance, make sure. Uh, I, I usually make a packing list um, ahead of time, even before I start packing. I'm writing the list and I'm breaking everything down. I'm, I mean, I'm writing camera, camera batteries, uh, memory card for the camera. Uh, worst case scenario, you're driving a couple hours to go to the convention. You get in there, you go to take your first your picture, and it says no memory card. Oh well, shit! I'm obviously not going to turn around and drive three hours back home. So now I'm spending meeting all these people, seeing all this cool stuff, and I can't take any pictures. Or you take you know you you had camera you had batteries in the camera. Uh, but you forgot your charger or you didn't bring the second set of batteries and now they're dead so now you have to you know charge them so packing list write down everything write every single poster that you need for for the people 
Um, so that way, as you're packing the car up, you're going one at a time. Okay, my Candyman poster's in there. My Cabin Fever poster's in there. And that way, you're, you know, I've never, in six, five, six conventions yet, I've never once forgotten anything, even the smallest little tiny thing, because I write everything down. I mean, when break every little tiny thing down. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to make sure um, to take with you is cash. Uh, don't The ATMs at these places are going to be crazy line. I mean, you'll literally think you're like, hey, whose uh, line is uh, is this? Uh, this is line for the ATM. <laughs> but it looks like an autograph signing line. Um, you also want to uh, go over your guest list one more time. Check the website. Make sure there wasn't any last minute additions. Uh, worst thing that, can, that, that that happens is is you know, I'm like, oh, well, there's no Nightmare on Elm Street people at this convention, so I won't take my Freddy poster. And yesterday they added Robert England, and now I'm at the convention, and I'm like, shit, my Freddy poster at home, it's got five other people from Nightmare on Elm Street, and I was just missing Robert England. And uh, now you're obviously not going to get them on something else. You need them on that poster that's three hours away, so you got a decision to make at that point. So definitely check the website over and over again leading up to it check it the night before even uh make sure somebody didn't cancel if somebody canceled then you know that was the only person you needed on that one poster then you don't even need to bother taking that poster um have everything ready to go the night before pack the pack the bags up everything you know that's less free to do in the morning less things that can hold you up uh, I suggest going to the convention if autograph signings start at 5 o'clock, get there at 4 o'clock. The reason why you can do that is you can start game planning. A lot of these conventions don't have like some map on the website that says so-and-so is going to be over here and the Walking Dead people are going to be over here. They'll have it when you get there, but they're not going to let that you know, be known on the website or anything. So show up early and that way you can just go up to the security and be like, hey, where's the Walking Dead people at? Okay, they're over here. Okay, uh, where's Robert England's line going to start forming? Because I, I can just go stand there right now and be like the first one in it because I'm early. I suggest doing that really, really, especially for your big people. Um, uh, get a good sleep the night before. If you haven't been to a convention, it is just like go outside and jog in place for like three hours because that's what you're going to feel like after day one and then you're going to get like three or four hours of sleep and you're going to wake up 10 o'clock in the morning and you're going to start doing day number two which is even longer than day number one it literally if you're going to spend a week in that convention your body will take a toll you're not going to eat right you're going to you're going to be either standing or walking for seven or eight hours straight, uh, you know, us people that do it hardcore like that, then, um, uh, let me see, what else do we got here, uh, try to learn to lay out, uh, game plan, game plan, game plan, meaning, once you learn, someone says over here, this person's over there, is who do you want to go get first, you know, knock the bigger names out, um, so that before, you know, start lines start getting crazy, um, you know, do I, do I, uh, get all the walking dead people so that way I'm done with this poster and I don't have to worry about no more and now I can start on the Nightmare on Elm Street poster and then my Jason poster and then I'll get the other little, you know, one, one for this movie, one for that movie, Candyman, Cabin Fever, because they're just one people, but I want to get the four or five walking dead people and the four or five Jason people and, Game plan like that really helps a lot. Uh, every convention I've ever gone to, Friday night is the night for autographs. Uh, I can usually get through, even when I have like a list of like 20 some people that I want, I can usually get all the autographs Friday. And Saturday you can sit back and enjoy the convention, watch a movie, watch the Q&A panels when they bring in, you know, the five people that are there from The Walking Dead and they sit up on stage and you get to ask them questions and hear stories and stuff that you would never hear anywhere else. Um, if you know you game plan and you have a, you know, I'm gonna get this person, then I'm gonna go shoot over here to this person. I'm gonna knock this poster out so I don't have to carry it around anymore. Run up to the room, swap out posters, things like that. You're gonna go through and you're gonna do okay. Uh, and then the last thing, guys, is have fun. I mean, that's what conventions are. Um, it's a lot of work. Your body's gonna take a toll, but I guarantee you, no matter what. 
when you're leaving the convention, it's going to hit you like, wow, this is, you know, it's over. The weekend's over. You just never want it to end when you're there. And, and you might think like, God, why am I doing this? As you're doing it, my body's sore. I'm starving to death. I've been in line for three hours for Robert England. And, but when you're leaving, it's, it, you'll realize that it was all well worth it. So guys, hopefully, sorry, this is a long video. I could talk for probably another hour about conventions. Uh, uh, any questions, comments down below, uh, any, uh, your ideas, uh, you can put those below or what you do. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear it. You know, any, you know, anybody, no matter what, if you think you're a pro at something, I guarantee there's somebody out there that can teach you some things. So, um, maybe I could, there's something I'm doing that you might have a, a easier way of doing it. And, and I'm all about that. Anything that'll make it easier and speed me up, uh, even more. I'm all about it. So hopefully somebody got something out of this blood spawn out. Peace.